I've probably going to cry. I practiced this speech about 20 times and I haven't made it through once without tears. I first of all just want to say thank God we waited an extra 840 days for today. Like my wee granny used to say, what's for you won't go by you. So it turns out that it was for us. <laughs> Now, for asking me to be his, I would like to thank my husband. Come on. <laughs> thank you for always being loving, supporting and understanding. You truly are the best man I've ever known. Having a supportive partner can literally change your life. We changed my life and I'm grateful every single day that I met him. I love the saying, may you attract someone who speaks your language so you don't have to spend a lifetime translating your soul. Because I feel like I have found that in Lee. <laughs> I'm not good about talking about how I feel or telling people that I need what I need, but he always just knows better probably than I do. We've been together over 13 years. He was my boyfriend for five and then my fiance for eight. And now, eventually, after all this time, I'd like you to, to ask you to raise a glass to my husband, Lee. I finally have a husband.
had a lot of lessons left to learn But I'm not even close But Through my inhibition I've become quite sure That I love you the most That this could be the easiest thing if I'd let it But I'm too afraid of losing it all Cause if I leave everything on the table Then you might break my heart But I know a love like this doesn't come around every day And I just can't bring myself to give up right now And so, Chelly and me, by virtue of the declarations you have made in my presence, those of your family, your friends and your witnesses, it is my thoroughly pleasant duty to declare that you are married and are now husband and wife. I want to the new Mrs. Connor. I think we can all agree that she looks beautiful. Today I got to marry my best friend. She has been planning this wedding for a long time, probably before I even proposed to be honest. When I did propose she hesitated which had me a bit worried. Turns out she was counting how many vegetarians would be coming today. We met back in 2009, shortly after I got married in the from Barclays. My mum said to make sure I didn't piss it all up against the wall, but if I hadn't, I wouldn't have met Shirley. We met, we met in the bully. She was the prettiest girl on the dance floor. I can still see her lying there now. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought a kiss in the bully would turn into a marriage 13 years later? I can't believe I met someone so beautiful, funny, caring. Sorry, but that's how I can't read your writing. <laughs> I honestly can't wait to see what the next chapter of our life has in store. 
new house, kids. I know that if you care for them half as much as Douglas, they're onto a winner. <laughs> Hank out and something staying the same though. Our daft wee jokes, constantly winding each other up, usually me winning. Both singing the wrong words to songs in the car and belting our hearts out to Tay Tay and Pitch Perfect songs. <laughs> you getting beat at pool and badminton. Those things will never change. Can we all go up standing and raise a glass to my beautiful wife? Please. Shelly. To Mrs. Connor. <laughs> Cheers. I could believe I leave love for my dreaming Cause I don't want my heart to bleed So tell me why is it when I would close my eyes It's you I would see, it's you I would dream I don't wanna be in a fantasy So why won't you let me breathe Cause I I feel this way, but you, you wanna hear me say that I can't stop thinking about you, that my heart stops beating when I'm with you is true. I never felt this way. Wanna hear me say